Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. Welcome to another of my update videos and this one's slightly different. I thought, I was looking through my collection the other day um, and I realised I had quite a lot of TV box sets, things like that. Um, so I thought I would do a video and uh, let you have a look at what I have in my collection uh, that are TV box sets. Now this is Blu-rays and DVDs. I do have quite a lot of DVD box sets in my collection. Um, I always do like to get round to update DVD box sets to Blu-rays but they can be quite pricey, especially TV ones so I always try and wait for the right deal. Um, and I have got more than um, I thought actually when I was looking through them, quite a lot. Now there's a couple that I don't have, uh, mainly because I lent them my brother a few months ago and because of lockdown and the Covid outbreak in the UK I've not been able to get them back yet. One of them being a Twilight Zone box set that I got, I won in a competition last year uh, from Carl, uh, Carlos over at Eastwood for Life Fans channel. Um, and I think a couple of other box sets that he might have over there as well that I can't just remember what. Um, so there's not absolutely everything here, but there's pretty much everything I could put my hands on fairly easily, certainly. So we'll make a start, and this will be a combination of Blu-rays and DVDs. I've got them stacked up here and here, and I'll just reach and grab and show. Now any of these that we would go through now, if you would like to see a more detailed video on any of these box sets, if you want me to do uh, that, just let me know in the comments and I will consider doing that if there's enough demand for that. So we'll make a start and the first box set I will show you is one of my favourite TV shows of all time. Battlestar Galactica box set, Blu-ray box set. I picked this up last year, not last year, uh, I think it was 2019. So the lid comes off, get the nice book and then the whole show is like stacked in there like that uh, so you get everything in there um, I'm not sure you get all of the like TV movies and things like that I haven't watched it yet even though obviously I've watched the show um, but I'm just trying to convince my wife to maybe give this one a go but she's not a big fan of sci-fi so I think I've got my work cut out so that's Battlestar Galactica Blu-ray box set highly recommend that show if you've never seen it next up is we have one of my favorite shows of all time again Supernatural this is seasons this is a blu-ray box set and it is seasons 1 to 12 and they're all stacked up in there like that you may well have noticed I started reviewing them on the channel I think I got up to season 7 um, and we're about halfway through season 8 but we haven't watched it for quite a while now so I'm hoping to pick that up again those reviews this year there we go so that's seasons 1 to 12 and as we know they've just finished on season 15 put that there and then I picked this up separately on it's not even been opened yet on eBay last year at some point I think it was Supernatural complete season 13 so I still need to get season 14 and 15 when that's released and then I'll have the complete Supernatural collection fantastic show right what should we do next yep another blu-ray box set and that is Sherlock seasons 1 to 3 uh, this is really quite cheap to pick up if you want to get Sherlock seasons one to four which is where they're up to I believe it's actually quite expensive so I thought I'd get these for now and if I'm honest I'm not a huge fan of season four even though there are some good bits in it so you open it up and you get you get them like that inside another great show if you've not seen it I'm sure most of you have heard of it Sherlock I know in America they've got their own version of this show with Johnny Lee Miller I believe is it who plays Sherlock um, but I think most would agree that this is the superior show. Right, just move these out of the way. Next one, I can see my peripheral vision. I did show this at my most recent update video for December because I just picked this up um, really much cheaper than I anticipated. And I've always wanted it in the collection and it is quite pricey. Eh? Um, but. Um, certainly the Blu-ray version of this is quite pricey 
and it is the X Files. Now it's seasons one to nine, I believe. Right, so what? Yeah, seasons one to nine, and you get the first movie in it. I haven't. I'm not a huge fan of seasons. The the new seasons they brought out last couple of years. Uh, ten and eleven is it? I thought ten was okay. I thought eleven was pretty bad. But these are all DVDs. Um, I really want to revisit the X Files at some point. One of my favourite shows of all time. Um, but I'm not sure I'll ever get round to it. I hope so. I really want to revisit it and uh, review it for the channel. But again, uh, the may the the best way I could do that with most of my TV stuff is watching it with my wife. We will, generally speaking, get into a show and we'll sit down and watch an episode or two most nights or a movie and then the following night we'll watch another episode. So it really, most of my TV viewing generally is dictated by what we can watch together. Uh, and like I say, she ain't a fan of sci-fi, so... Next one is, it's not really a box set this, but it is a TV miniseries. And it is the stand. I've just recently picked this up. Um, I know the new version is out now. I'm just about to start that. Uh, I'm a big fan of this mini series. Yes, I know it is a bit cheap and the ending's a bit cheesy and stuff like that. Um, but it is still high quality with a great cast. Again, one of the best shows I think ever put to screen this. We have Breaking Bad. Blu-ray box set, the complete series. Uh, not an awful lot to say here on this show. If you've never seen it, you really are missing out. Incredible show. Love it. Really, really like it. And this is a good box set. Open it up. And you've got all your Breaking Bad stuff of goodness in there. There are loads of collectible versions of this box set. I'm not one for collecting for collecting's sake. I just will generally like to have one version in my collection. I'm not a completionist or anything like that. As long as I've got it in my collection I, I, I can relax if you like if it's something I really like. Um, and I don't like multiple versions of the same thing. I completely understand anybody out there that does. Um, I just like to have one version and I've got it in my collection and I'm generally happy then. my opinion this next one is the greatest miniseries of all time and that is V and this is DVD complete collection so you get in here uh, you get V the original miniseries um, which is this one you get the final battle which is this one and then you get the complete TV show that followed those that isn't as good a quality but it is still okay so you get the complete collection there of V the mini series from the 1980s that I grew up on I could still watch it today it's still really really good um, they've just I think they've just released certainly the original mini series um, on blu-ray but if they ever release this equivalent on Blu-ray, I will definitely update it. I don't think they've done that as yet. Next ones are The Walking Dead Season 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Now, I do have another three seasons of this, but like I say, I think I have... I can't find them, or, but I think I might have lent them my brother. I think. Um, I have just picked this up and I will be showing this off um, at my next um, collection update video which will be at the end of January. I've just picked this up and that is Dexter the Complete Series. Now, if you've been following the channel you know that I've been collecting Dexter. Um, I made a bit of a boob initially. I thought it would be quite easy to pick on Blu-ray so I started buying some of the Blu-ray series and then some of them turned out to be really expensive. Um, so I did a combination of buying the first six seasons on DVD and Blu-ray, so it's mix and match, which I'd never like. Um, and then to get season seven and eight on Blu-ray, it was going to cost considerably more than it cost me to pick this up. So 
in my mind I thought well I'm going to get this this is this is a DVD box set I will sell the others that I've picked up and that will make back the money I paid for this um, and it's a nice tidy box set with all the seasons in there again the blu-ray version of this is quite pricey so I'm going to wait until the new season comes out uh, which will which is coming out this year in 2021 I'm sure they'll release some kind of box set following that and then I will aim to pick that up eventually but this will do me for now this the price on this varies quite wildly but I managed to pick this up for 19.99 online pretty pleased with that next another one of my favorite shows um, I did have these uh, these are DVDs. I did have these originally and I ended up getting rid of them a few years ago. It took me a while to collect them again, but I won't be getting rid of them again. And that is Angel. Okay, now you can pick up a few different versions of this box set. So I'm not even sure if it's actually on Blu-ray this. I wanted this version, which is almost like a book. Very nice. Um box set I think even if it is DVD always liked it this was about when you when this first came out because I remember getting season one and season two for Christmas probably in the early noughties um, being really chuffed with it and they're about 40 50 pound each at that point you could pick these up really really cheap in fact I think I got a couple of these seasons for about a pound each on a car boot once or something like that so cheap um, so that is season one Pop that there, hang on, pop that there. And then obviously we have, where are we? Um, season 2, the same version in regards to the style of the box set. Like I say, much nicer versions than the some of the other box sets they have for Angel. Season 3. You don't know what Angel is? It's a spin-off from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and in my opinion, in my opinion, it's the superior show. But some will probably disagree with that, and that's fair enough. Season four. And this show was criminally cancelled way too early. They got up to season five, and then they stopped there, which was gutting for the fans really and it certainly was for me at the time my favorite show at then and he's still one of my favorite shows now very very good so that is angel seasons one to five on dvd all in the same style of box set like i say it took me a couple of years to get all of them in that style um and i'm really really pleased that i did right next we have Faulty Towers DVD box set one of the greatest comedies of all time in the UK and this will be instantly recognisable to everybody in the UK probably to most of you over the world as well um, definitely one of the best comedies of all time a real English classic another one uh, this is probably my favourite British comedy of all time Father Ted, this is the definitive collection. If you don't know what Father Ted is, look up on YouTube some clips of Father Ted. It's hilarious. Um, about these three priests living on an island, craggy island, and they get into all sorts of adventures. Um, I can't praise the show enough, I just love it. I, I can watch it every single year every single episode no problem I can, every time it's on TV if it's there and there's nothing else to watch I'll just watch Father Ted love it we have a couple of Louis Theroux box sets probably in the UK our premier documentary filmmaker I'm sure many of you have heard of Louis Theroux got a couple of his box sets here and I have shown them off before I probably, I've shown all of these off in some collection video in the past and I've even reviewed some of the Louis Theroux box sets that I have on the channel big fan of Louis Theroux and his documentaries every time he does a new one it's the highlight and we make sure we watch it me and my wife 
Um, next one, I've just picked this up at Christmas. Cobra Kai Seasons 1 and 2. DVD box set. I think it's available on Blu-ray as well, this. And as you know, I've just reviewed Seasons 1 to 3 on the channel. Really love that show. I picked this next one up in a charity shop. Um, down in Skegness, I think it was. And this is the Foresight Saga. It was an ITV um, series, 10 episode series, um, a famous story. Um, they've done a few different versions of this. Now this was one of the early things that me and my wife ever watched together. I think it came out in about the year 2000, something like that. Um, certainly the early days of um, the noughties anyway. Um, so yeah. Foresight Saga. Period drama. So there we go. Still need to watch that again with my wife. It'll bring back a lot of memories. I'm not usually a fan of period dramas. You know, like period dramas on the BBC and stuff. I, I will generally avoid show TV shows and films like that. Um, they're not really my thing, but I did remember enjoying that. As I did this as well. Jekyll. It, this was a BBC show that came out again in the noughties I believe let's have a look 2007 I think um, James Nesbitt now it was a modern retelling of the Jekyll, Jekyll and Hyde story and it was really good and really dark it says season one there but they've never made any more so it's a standalone miniseries now um, very very good I really really enjoyed that when it came out definitely one I want to get around to re-watching and reviewing on the channel uh, the next three are uh, An Idiot Abroad 1 An Idiot Abroad 2 and Carl Pilkington's Morning of Life. Now, if none of that, if those don't mean anything to you, that's it's it's like a British. These are British shows starring a guy called Carl Pilkington, where he goes on, um, he travels around the world. He's a really grumpy guy who nothing really is interesting to him, and it's like that's why they call him an idiot, and they send him abroad. And it's Ricky Gervais is one of his best friends, and he sends him abroad, and it's very very funny the shows that he does Carl Pilkington so I do urge you to check them out if you've never seen them very funny um, and the last ones I want to show you and I'll show you them quite quickly but again um, if you want to see a more detailed look at these next box sets let me know in the comments and I'll show you now if any of you are fans of the TV show Top Gear Top Gear as it was with Jeremy Clarkson, James May and Richard Hammond then this bit might interest you I've, I have I have shown them off before um, and it's pretty much my whole Top Gear collection um, so you've got things like Top Gear The Great Adventures 3 um, South America Special Romania and Bonneville Director's Cuts in there um, so there's that one that's a Top Gear Special box set another Top Gear collection there and these are like um, the Winter Olympics revved up Back in the fast lane, one of the more one of the earliest DVD box sets they ever put out. Um, Top Gear: The Great Adventures box set. So on here you have four adventures. You've got the Polar Special, uh, the US Special, the Botswana Special, and the Vietnam Special. All really, really brilliant. Very, very funny. Um, yeah love them. I would love one day to get round to reviewing these specials on the channel. It's just finding the time to be honest. Another Great Adventures one here and this one includes the India special and supercar supercars across Italy. So you get one like Christmas special and another special on there as well that they did in the series. I'm not sure which series it was. more Top Gear here The Great Adventures 4 and this has on it 
Middle East Special and the US and Albania road trips. That. So Top Gear as it was. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't know what it's like now because I don't watch it. I watch the Grand Tour. Just get these down here. Um, I'd have, I stopped watching Top Gear when these guys left. It wasn't Top Gear anymore to me. Um, so we've got this Top Gear one, the Great African Adventure. Uh, that's the one where the um, try and find the source of the River Nile, I believe it was. And then we've got a series of. Let's have a look. Yeah, hang on. Got another special here. The Burma special, that's one of my favourite specials where they have the trucks across Burma. Top Gear, the worst car in the world, in the history of the world. And then we've got a series of Top Gear DVDs. Now these were highlights of the show's challenges that they do on the show. So this, this one, it's things like uh, the Ashes, um, four-seater convertibles. I mean, there's there's loads of challenges on there that they did in some of the series. Same with this one. This is the Challengers Five. Again, you can see all the different highlights and challenges from that show. This is one of the best ones because it's got the motorhomes one where they build the motorhomes. If you can see on there, that really tall motorhome that Clarkson built. Hilarious. Um, pop that there. Challengers 4. Again, loads of challenges on there. Really good value these because you get like loads and loads of challenges on it and they, they go on for quite a while. 200 minutes, this one. Very good. The Challengers 3. All them challenges. Um, you get some really good ones on there as well. Race Across Japan, British Leyland Challenge, the Lorrying Challenge, Bus Racing. The Challenges 2. Um, and on here you've got the 24 hour race, the Greatest Driving Road, Race Across London, Amphibious Cars, the sequel where they go across the channel and amphibious cars that they build. And the very first one, the Challengers. Um, and on here we've got Bugatti Veyron versus the plane, Crap 70 supercars, building limos, Robin Reliant space shuttle. They actually try and build a Robin Reliant into a space shuttle. Um, really, really good stuff. Now, I, I know not many of you out there may be fans of Top Gear, but I really was, still am. I'm really glad I've got them in the collection. I would upgrade to Blu-ray, but I don't think many of them are out on Blu-ray. Um, so that is, barring a couple of exceptions, and I'm just looking around to see if I've missed anything, all my TV box sets. Um, so yeah, I think I will be showing... I think I've got another couple in the post as well um, that I'll show off um, when I do my latest um, collection update video at the end of January um, but yeah I thought it was would be nice to show you what I have uh, in my collection that are TV related stuff so I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and of course I will be back very shortly with more content on Screen Stars <laughs>